The Election Commission of India has unveiled comprehensive data on the electoral bond scheme, spotlighting the intricate web of political funding. 22,217 electoral bonds were snapped up from April 1, 2019 to February 15, 2024. The lion's share of these funds flowed into the coffers of Bharti Janta Party, making to the top of the beneficiary of the scheme. Hot on its heels are Trinamool Congress and Indian National Congress with other significant parties also making to the list. This video will explore the top contributors and dissect the pivotal figures who bought the most. So here is a look at the top electoral bond buyers. This research has been done by the ET team. On number one, we have Santiago Martin, the founder of Future Gaming and Hotel Services. His company is the largest purchaser of electoral bonds in India, having bought electoral bonds worth rupees 1,368 crore between April 12, 2019 and January 24, 2024. Martin Charitable Trust website shows him as the founder of the Future Gaming and Hotel Services. His conglomerate has interest in real estate, hospitality and textile sectors in India and Myanmar. Martin is known as the Lottery King and has established presence in 13 states where lotteries are legal, including Maharashtra, Punjab and West Bengal. His company reported a turnover of rupees 20,000 crore in the annual report for 2021 and 22. However, Martin has had run-ins with the Enforcement Directorate and the Income Tax Department for over a decade. In the August 2023, a Punjab-based lottery distributor accused Martin of rupees 900 crore lottery scam in the state, leading to a legal case in Punjab and Haryana High Court. Let's come to the number two on the list. It's Mega Engineering and Infrastructure Limited, MEIL. This Hyderabad-based company established in 1989 is the second largest donor to political parties. MEIL is a company with a wide range of interests that include electric vehicles and irrigation. MEIL has proposed a joint investment of $1 billion with BYD for electric vehicle factory in Telangana. However, the plan was rejected by the center due to increased scrutiny on Chinese investment, given the strained bilateral ties between the two countries. In April 2023, Megha Engineering and Infrastructure Limited won the Mumbai tender to construct the Thane Borivali Twin Tunnel Project. The Pranavita Chavala Lift Irrigation Scheme, which cost $14 billion, was among the significant projects commissioned by MEIL in drought prone Telangana. Forbes ranked Pami Reddy, Pichi Reddy and PV Krishna Reddy as the 54th on the richest Indian list last year. Now let's talk about the Jalans of Kolkata, led by Mahendra Kumar Jalan, have spent third highest amount on electoral bond, but are relatively unknown nationally. Their company, MKJ Group, has a diverse range of businesses, including Keventer Agro, which is involved in dairy, fresh food, packaging food and beverages. MKJ Group has spent a total of rupees 617 crore through four entities. In 2017, MKJ Group acquired the West Bengal government's 47th person stake in the joint venture Metro Dairy. The Enforcement Directorate later investigated this purchase following a petition filed by the West Bengal Congress President Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary. The High Court and the Supreme Court has dismissed the appeals filed by the Congress lawmaker. According to its website, Keventer Agro claims to be the third largest in frozen foods in the East, second largest in ultra high temperature milk, the second largest in ice creams in Kolkata and the leader of branded fresh bananas. The group also sources, manufactures and distribute and sells Parley Agro products such as fruity and bailey packaged water across West Bengal, Jharkhand, Northeast, Bhutan, and Sikkim. Quick supply chain and unlisted private company in Mumbai has recently become the third largest donor to political parties by purchasing electoral bonds worth rupees 410 crores through multiple transactions in January 2022 and November 2023. The company established in November 2000 has revenue of rupees 15,747 crore and a net profit of rupees 33.7 crore in FY23. Quick is primarily engaged in constructing warehouses and storage units, which make up almost 91% of its revenue. According to Quick's regulatory filing to the Registrar of Companies, the company is associated with Reliance Industries. Six of its promoter shareholders as of March 2023 are Reliance Fire Brigade Services, Reliance Group Support Services, 
Vibrant Advertising, Imagination Works Production Company, Reliance Hospital Management Services, and Gujarat Pet Coke and Petro Products Supply. A private Facebook group named RGSS, Reliance Group Support Services, describes the company as Reliance Group Company that provides security and allied support services to all RIL companies. Quick's regulatory filings show that the email address of the company contact and two of the three directors are RIL IDs. The directors also hold positions in other RIL entities. However, when contacted, a spokesperson for RIL stated that Quick is not subsidiary of any Reliance entity. Now let's talk about the mining giant Vedanta. It's, it's a major mining company in India owned by billionaire Anil Agarwal. The company generates a revenue of $18 billion and is the country's largest private sector oil producer. It employs a workforce of 87,500 people. Vedanta was the fourth largest purchaser of electoral bonds with purchases worth rupees 400 crores. Vedanta runs the largest onshore oil field in Rajasthan and has been a dispute with government over renewal of contract to operate the block. Initially, Vedanta also resisted paying the windfall tax on crude production imposed by the government in 2022. However, it later complied with the regulation. Vedanta has been lobbying the government for almost a decade to reduce the cess on domestic oil production, but with no success. Due to alleged violation of green norms, Vedanta's copper smelter in Tutikor in Tamil Nadu has been closed for years. In 2022, Vedanta partnered with Taiwan's Foxconn to establish a semiconductor business in India, but the project was not successful. Next on the list is Haldia Energy. Haldia Energy, a power generation company owned by the RP Sanjeev Goenka Group, controlled by billionaire Sanjeev Goenka, the company has brought electoral bonds worth rupees 377 crore. Haldia Energy is a wholly owned unit of CESC, which distributes power in Kolkata and other parts of West Bengal. One of the group companies, PCBL, is India's biggest carbon black manufacturer and a major exporter. The group operates multi-format retailer Spencer's, IT-enabled service provider First Source and music label Saregama. Now let's talk about the telephone giant Bharti Group. In the last five years, the group has donated rupees 247 crore to various political parties through the electoral bonds. Bharti Airtel, Indus Towers and Bharti Telemedia were the three group companies that made the donations, with Airtel accounting for 80% of the total amount. Airtel is India's second largest mobile service company with over 381 million subscribers as of December 2023. The Bharti Group also owns a majority stake in OneWeb, a satellite communication firm that recently received a license from the telecom department. Bharti Infratel, which has merged with Indus Towers, operates more than 211,775 towers. With DTH company, Bharti Telemedia had 16.1 million consumers as of December 31, 2023. Now let's talk about SL Mining. Established in 1950, SL Mining and Industries Limited, EMIL, is part of the Aditya Birla Group, which is worth $60 billion. EMIL, headquartered in Kolkata, bought electoral bonds worth rupees 224.5 crore between 2019 and 2022. It is one of India's largest private coal miners. The company is involved in coal mining, iron pellets, noble ferro alloys, and contract cast mining. Recently, it secured three new coal mining development come operations project in Madhya Pradesh, Amelia, Odisha, Subhadra, and Chhattisgarh, Madan Nagar. The last on the list is Western UP Power Transmission Company Limited, WUPPTCL, which is controlled by Megha Engineering Infrastructure Limited, and they have purchased electoral bonds worth Rs. 220 crores between 2019 and 2024, making it one of the top 10 political donors under the scheme. The company is executing transmission projects in Uttar Pradesh under the Build, Own, Operate transfer model. It had signed transmission services agreement with four UP-based power distribution companies. So that's it for the, today's video. We'll bring you more videos on this topic. So keep watching this space.